Okay, students, welcome to one of the coolest things of this project, and that is we're going to embrace AI through ChatGBT to come up with a very unique learning plan for just you and your group, your partner, your team, or maybe just you individually. Um, I'm in as the teacher, so this is going to look a little bit different, but I'm just in the Google Classroom. So you have finished the, to get here, you've got, got to have completed the planning quiz, okay? So you've filled in all the blanks, which also means that you have this paragraph here that explains what you're going to do for the project and which of the UN SDG you're doing. This is a very important pro, uh, paragraph because the more information we can give the AI engine, the better it can do with coming up with a plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to go back to the classroom and I'm going to get prompt number one. So I'm going to just open up prompt number one. I have to open an edit mode for me to get it, but you should be able to just copy and paste it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy prompt number one. Copy that over. I'm going to go to chat GBT. I'm going to make a new chat in chat GBT and I'm going to paste that prompt in. I'm not going to press enter. I'm not going to engage it just yet because it needs to be edited. Okay. First of all, if it's you as an individual, you need to change this from we are to I am a middle school student. Take out the S in students. So you might have to change this a little bit if you are an individual. If you are a partnership or a team, then this is based upon the plural of uh, multiple people working on this. Okay, you can see right here we have to paste the paragraph from the planner. So let me go back to the planner and I'm going to copy this paragraph here. Copy and go back to uh, chat GBT, and I'm gonna paste it into there. Okay, paste, okay, so now there's that paragraph. Okay, now let's just look what I've got here. So, we are middle school students in a technology class. Please generate five standalone project ideas for us to do in our technology class using the following information and criteria. And then it says, Brad Flickinger and Junior Lucero will work as partners for this project. We have chosen the UN SDG number seven, affordable and clean energy with the target of 7.3. Remember, we're getting specific here, okay? So double the improvement of energy efficiency. We chose the creative path of innovation, which means innovation means we're gonna build upon something, right? Where invent would be to create something brand new, but we're gonna build upon something. And then the tech strand we've chosen is game de development and programming. And this last sentence is basically a summary. We plan to make a video game that will teach students how to double the improvement of energy efficiency. Okay, so that's telling uh, ChatGBT a lot of great information that it can use to build us a learning plan. Okay, now some of the other criteria is the project must al allow me to learn and then showcase high-level tech skills. Okay, with the, only the technology uh, I will use is, and there's another paste right here. Okay, so we got to go get this information here. So I go back to Google Classroom and let me just go ahead and save this. So I go back. Remember, I'm in editing mode as the teacher and I go to this tech strands equipment and app list. We need to go tell it what kind of tech equipment we're using. So since we're doing game development and programming, this is all we got to do is copy this. Oops. Again, I'm in, I got to, I got to be in edit mode because I'm the teacher. I'm going to go get this here right under game development. I'm going to get this part here. Scratch online coding platform. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to chat GBT and I'm going to paste that in right there. Paste. Okay. So this one says I will use the technology I will use is scratch online coding platform. Good. I have a maximum of seven weeks with only 2.5 classes per week to complete this project. Each class is about 80 minutes long. I will learn these skills independently of my teacher. I can only work on the project in a standard classroom. Okay. And then please provide a simple summary and suggested final digital product showing my competency and the skills needed to complete this. So this one's ready to go. We've, so you've pasted in two things. You've pasted in the paragraph and you've pasted in what technology you're going to be using. So let's press generate here. Let me get a quick drink before I cough. Okay. Now it is chewing away at it and is starting to <coughs> give us five ideas here. So... One is an energy efficiency quiz game. No, not really interested. Energy efficient city simulator. Ooh, I like this one. Let me just see what the final product would be. A scratch-based city simulation that allows users to interact with various energy saving strategies, showcasing your skills in a game logic, sprite manipulation, and user interactive design. Ooh, I like that one. Renewable energy puzzle game. No. 
energy efficiency adventure game. Let's see, final product is develop an adventure game in Scratch with multiple endings depending on the player's ability to improve energy efficiency. Okay, kind of like that one. Uh, this is highlighting storytelling. And then number five, energy efficiency race game. Ooh, I love race games. Okay, let me just see what the final product. A Scratch racing game that demonstrates your knowledge of energy efficiency and your ability to apply physics concepts, loops, and... Oh, this is the one for me. I love number five. Okay, that's the one for me. If you didn't like any of the five, you could type in here and say, please give me five new ones, and it would give you five new ones. But I actually like this one. I think this is something that Junior and I would really kind of enjoy doing. Okay, so let's go back to Google Classroom. And now we need to go back to the second prompt, okay? So we're, it's a two-prompt process. Let me close this one here, okay? And let me go open up prompt number two. Prompt number two, and it's a big one, okay? So let me open up so I can edit it, so I can copy it. But you should just be able to copy and paste it. And let me just go ahead and select everything here. All right, so I've got everything. And let's go to copy. Let's go to chat GBT. You have to do this all in the same day in the same chat, okay? You can't skip around in different chats because it needs to know what this first part was. So I'm going to paste it here. Paste. Okay, now let's go up to the top. We want to do number, and I'm going to put it right here. Select this. Replace that with a five. We want to do number five. Let me get rid of that other chunk. From the list above, please create a learning plan for us to be successful at this technology project. And it's going to include a, the summary of it again. It's going to be how it's connected to our UN STG goal that we've selected. A uh, list of the standards, because we are a standards-based school. It's going to give us five topics that we should research, ten skills that we should be uh, competent at, and a list of tutorials on YouTube. This is going to be great, you guys. It's going to really give you a great place to start. Now, let me give you a warning, though, okay? You, this is self-directed, okay? That means there is no one here to hold you by the hand and to teach you something. You've got to find the tutorials on your own. You've got to, and that's why we're giving you all this help with AI. If you are just beginning in Scratch, you would need to probably find some basic Scratch lessons. If you're someone who's been taking programming lessons every summer for the last six years, then you're going to be able to really zoom with this. But everything is going to have to be based upon what you can find online with YouTube tutorials and websites and that kind of stuff. You have to solve these problems yourself. Okay, let's generate this and let's see what the learning plan is going to be. This is going to be great. Okay, here is the detailed learning plan. Project overview. Okay, so it restates it again, okay, that we're going to create this racing game that demonstrates the knowledge of energy efficiency and physics. So that's been stated again. This is how it's connected to the target. Okay, the game educates players and improves these things. So this is us um, doing the right thing and making sure we're having tech that makes a difference. Here are the standards. I don't know if you know that these are the standards that we follow, but this is the standards and it gives you a, a summary of that. This is mostly for administrators and for the teachers to look at. Okay, then here are some things you should start researching with yourself or your partner, or your team, but all these kind of things. These are different topics to research. Interactive design, game mechanics, scratch programming, all this stuff. Skills needed. Here's just a list of skills that you're going to need to be able to be successful with this. Here are some YouTube tutorials, introduction to scratch programming, how to create and animate sprites, physics simulations, all this stuff are tutorials that you should be watching on YouTube. Here's some quality checklist. Make sure you know your game is intuitive, easy to navigate. Does the game clearly teach players energy efficiency? Just some things to keep an eye on. You should be answering yes to all of these quality things. And then uh, let's see, this is what we're going to use as your teachers. We're going to use this for grading. So does the game demonstrate a clear understanding of energy efficiency? Yes or no? Boom, yes. Uh, are the game mechanics well implemented? Yes. You know, these should all be yeses, but you're going to review it. But this is also what we're going to take from your lesson plan, this learning plan, sorry, when we go to grade your, uh, your work. Whatever you do, this is what we're going to do here, okay? And then here is the actual schedule. So week one. Uh, look, listen, and learn. So you should be doing research on these things. You should brainstorm ideas. Uh, Brad, you know, because we're a two-team, I'm going to research energy efficiency. We're juniors going to research game mechanics. Week number two, ask tons of questions. We're going to do that. You can see here both partners are going to collaborate and organize information. Week three, understand the process of the problem. Brad's going to work on game design sketch. Junior's going to work on initial sprite creation. 
Okay, this breaks it down. Now, of course, if you're an individual, it's going to be different. And if you're a team, it's going to be different, but it should tell you what you should be doing every week. So when we check in on you at the beginning of class, you should be able to stand up and say, this is what we're working on this week right here, or this is what we're working on this class period, and this is giving you a help right here. But it's not doing everything for you, but it's giving you at least a guidance so you get things done on time. And then at the very end, you're going to create a video, just like a self-reflecting video, just with your QuickTime camera, and you're going to answer these four questions. What did I learn about energy efficiency when creating this game? How did I overcome challenges in the development process? You know, these kind of things we're interested in. And then, boom, you're going to turn in your project with a copy of this learning plan. Okay, so let's keep it. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go over to my Google Drive, and I've got an Exploring Tech folder here. So I'm going to make a new document. New document. Yep, I'm going to create it in the shared folder here. And I'm going to paste it there. And then I'm going to call this my, uh, let's see, Tech Saves the World Festival, T-S-W-F, uh, what are we, planning, learning, learning plan. I'm going to call there. We go. The, the Tech Saves the World Festival learning plan, and that's what I've got saved here. You are going to have this in front of you every time you come to tech class. So save it in a place that you can get to all the time, that you remember where it is. Because in our class, this is what's going to be driving you for the next seven to eight weeks so that you can follow along and get your work done. How exciting. Look at all the stuff it's given you here. This is going to be great. I hope this makes sense to you. Good luck.